In this video, we're going to the town center of the Solana network, where digital assets are traded and swapped. Jupiter Aggregator. Welcome back to the DeFi 101 course. This course is made with support from the Solana Foundation and is designed to take you from a crypto investor to a crypto user. You can find the link to the full course playlist as well as supplementary written materials in the description. Now let's get into it. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to swap tokens on Solana, whether you wanna trade Sol for USDC, DeFi tokens, meme coins, or any other tokens on the Solana network. This video will teach you how. Today, we're gonna to swap using an app called Jupiter Aggregator, which you could think of kind of like the Google search for Solana trading. It helps you find tokens you want to buy at the best prices. There are a lot of decentralized exchanges on Solana, Radium, Orca to name a couple. Jupiter plugs into nearly all of them to find all available tokens at the best prices. It's important to note that Jupiter only works on the Solana network. Jupiter will not find tokens on other networks like Ethereum, so if you don't see tokens you're used to buying on an exchange like Coinbase, that's probably why. Before we dive in, let's understand what's happening when you make a swap. Think of DEXs or decentralized exchanges like automated vending machines filled with different tokens. When you swap, you're putting one token in and getting another out. The price is determined by supply and demand for a token in that vending machine. Jupiter checks all these vending machines to find you the best deal. But why exactly would you swap in the first place? One reason might be investment opportunities. You might want to buy a specific token because you believe in the project and you think the price is gonna go up. Maybe you heard about a new DeFi protocol, an NFT game, and you'd like to invest. For example, you might want to swap USDC for the Bonk token if you think Bonk is going to become more valuable. Another reason would be trading or profit taking. You might want to lock in profits or minimize losses, and you can do so by swapping a volatile token for a stable coin like USDC. Think of it like converting your casino chips back to cash. You're moving from a risky asset back to a stable one. A third reason might be real world utility. Just like you might exchange USD for euros when traveling to Europe, you might need to swap for specific tokens to use certain applications or services. For example, if you want to use a Solana gaming platform that requires their in-game token for purchases, or you're paying for a service that only accepts USDC, you need to swap to get the right token first. Some people might even use crypto to swap for a foreign exchange. Let's walk through making a swap. First, head to Jupiter, link below this video. Let's talk about why we use Jupiter specifically. Jupiter is what we call a swap aggregator. Imagine if instead of checking each airline's website separately for the best flight price, you used a service that checked them for you all at once like Kayak. That's Jupiter, but for token swaps. When you make a swap on Jupiter, it checks all the major decentralized exchanges on Solana at once, finds the best possible price across all of them. It can even split your trade across multiple exchanges to get you the best deal. The idea is it saves you time and money compared to checking each exchange yourself and serves as one single UX that you can use to access all of them. You can still always go to individual exchanges like Orca or Radium, but using Jupiter means you're always getting the best price without having to shop around. Plus, Jupiter handles all of the complexity behind the scenes. You just pick your tokens and get the best rate automatically. There's a website for Jupiter and Jupiter also has a mobile app for Android and iPhone users. For this video, we're gonna show you the desktop version. On desktop, go to Jupiter and connect your wallet in the top right corner. You'll see two boxes. The top one is what you're trading in. The bottom one is the token you want to receive. Click either box to choose the tokens that you're swapping. Important. When selecting the token you want to receive, you need to be careful that you always select the right one. Anyone can create a token, so you have to double check that it's the right token. We're not going to type this token tickers into the receiving box. Instead, we're going to use something known as the token's contract address, which you can think of like the token's unique identifier on the blockchain. Every token has a unique identifier, so to get that, we're going to go to CoinGecko and type in the token's ticker. Once we find it, we're gonna look on the left side of the menu to find the contract address. Copy that address and go back to Jupyter to paste it into the receiving token selector box. Other platforms like Dex Screener will also always have contract address. You'll notice the difference between official and unofficial tokens in the selector box. Official tokens have a green check mark next to the ticker. If the token you're looking for has that green check mark, you can be more confident you're buying the right one. But note that newer, smaller tokens may be correct, but still not have a green check mark. Enter the amount you want to swap. Jupiter will automatically find the best route and price for your trade. Look at the price impact and minimum amount you'll receive. If these look good, hit the swap button. Your wallet will pop up asking you to approve the transaction. Review the details and confirm. That's it. Your new tokens will show up in your wallet within seconds. Before we wrap up, here are some quick tips for smart swapping and to stay safe. Make sure you always keep some soul in your wallet for transaction fees. Always check the price impact. If it's over 1%, you might wanna trade a smaller amount. Inversely, if you're trying to trade during a period of high volatility and your transaction keeps failing, it might be because you need to go to swap settings and change your slippage setting to dynamic. Sometimes the amount you're receiving is much less than the amount you're paying for. If this happens, try breaking this trade into a set of smaller trades to get better prices. Remember to always double check 
exact the tokens you're trading as there can be fake versions out there. Again, the contract address is unique, but the token ticker does not have to be. Swapping on Solana is fast and cheap, usually just a fraction of a cent per trade. Remember that to keep up to date on new opportunities in the crypto market, you can check out our newsletter at newsletter.dynamodefi.com. And to see more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.